Welcome back everyone. So, uh, last episode I ended it and then immediately started this episode and actually what I went ahead and did on this episode was uh, I ran a little bit west. We ended last episode just entering into Western Plaguelands. I went ahead and, sorry, east and kept going a little bit farther east so I could uh, work on the next quest. And as it turned out, someone was over here clearing. A warlock of all things, of course, was clearing. And uh, burned, it was like clearing the path. Uh, yup. Scarlet Divergence. I found someone clearing this. I was like, hey, let's just, I'll do this also. Crap, sorry. I didn't realize, realize it did take it from you. I feel bad now. I, I just came over here. Um, he cleared it all, or she cleared it all. And I just ran up and like snatched it from her. <laughs> I feel really bad about that. That wasn't very nice of me. Uh, okay, there you go. Oh, nice, nice. He didn't. You don't actually need to burn it. Oh, nice. That's convenient. Want to get the Janus quest to our west? There's a quest. Um quest in that house. There's a quest in his house, and uh, it's kind of cool, if I remember right. Um, it's nice to have... Oh, these are much... Oh, man, these mobs are so much better than the uh, freaking crazy ones in Anderhal we were fighting. These guys are, like, low levels. Like, seriously, these are nothing. 50-51, easy, easy stuff. I feel so much safer fighting these guys, you know? Last episode was a doozy. That's like the only word I can use to describe it. It was a doozy. We got smoked. I felt pretty... I wouldn't say terrible, but uh, demoralized in terms of my capabilities as a warlock. So um, I was pretty happy that episode ended, to say that. I was pretty happy with that. Okay. Now the goal here... Hey, look, it's a 60... Hunt, uh, Torn Hunter back there. We're seeing all the Alliance people today. Um, anyway, so I felt a little demoralized last episode. Like, I was having a ton of fun. I was like, man, I'm just not as good at, at managing my Warlock as I thought I was, because I'm getting, like, blown apart here. Now we're going to line of sight these little scumbags. <laughs> Too good. So does Elysium have... Uh, this server does. Oh, I'm gonna line aside this guy a little more. And dead. Easy. Okay. And the goal is to get in this house and hopefully not aggro anything along the way. Um. There we go. Nice. Good job. That was a good pull by our buddy there. I was having trouble getting line of sight on that guy, but it worked out. I'm gonna tap. Oh, we just aggroed a lot of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get this guy dotted also. I got a Shadow Trance. I'm just going to launch a Shadow Bolt at that one. We almost killed all these mobs at the same time. Well, at least two of the three. We were just being too uh, cautious, I think. Or too, like, I don't know. Not cautious, but kind of splitting our DPS for really no reason. Okay, now in we go. Janice should have a quest for us in here. What I aggro? Oh, uh, let's let's do this. Oh, that's nah, not good. Um, I guess dots for everyone. Seems okay. Uh, these are such. Uh, thankfully, these really are low level mobs. This was an Anderhall. We'd be getting like we would die. We'd just be dead right now. They'd be too high level for us. But what level is okay? It's Fifty-seven. Okay, I didn't realize. Um, that's pretty high level, actually, for this area. I need to drain soul. Oh, did I get that off in time? I did, nice. Okay, uh, do a little tap. Pull this guy. Ooh, what am I missing here? I didn't loot this. Oh, rune cloth. Nice, I'll take some rune cloth. Always, always take rune cloth. There we go. Quest from, uh, Janice. Better late than never. The ramblings of the ghostly woman indicated she needed a package delivered. She claimed that it was where her house was, as to where the house is or where the package was to be delivered. The ghost remains incomprehensible. Well, 
thank you for all of that great great information now out here entering combat uh, it's over here ah you guys getting some play room okay Okay, so we turn in the other, this quest, I think. Oh, oh, gosh. Those aren't real people. Oh, my gosh. Run. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Uh, let's just sacrifice Mr. Tang Moth for a moment here. And let's death coil that down, which killed it, actually, and healed me, which is great. Guardian effect proc. Nice, nice. We're going to be fine now. I'll heal with the potion if I have to. But I think we're in the clear. Two minute poison on that toxic saliva. Wow. What is this? 20 mana leech every six seconds, 17. That's gross. It's a mana and a health leech poison. Huh. Don't think I've ever seen that. I honestly don't think I've ever noticed anything like that before. That's. That's impressively evil. I like can't even, uh. So the turn in for Janice is right there in the barn next to the door. I can't even bandage because of that. It lasts so long. Ooh. Okay, well, we, uh, we're good on soul stones, soul shards. We've got, let me zoom in. It's like right in here. Okay. And I think we're doing pretty good. Good. Dreamfoil, nice. Nice. Good for you. Okay. Gotta get in here somehow. Hmm. This person's low on mana. And our buddy is. Scout okays. A little low on mana. And health. So I don't want to pull that pack of freaking, what are they, kind of like, they're looking like Scarlet Monastery people, I don't really want to pull them until our friend is healed up, um, but soon, okay, tempted to just like, yeah, let's nuke him, that sounds good, tempted to send Tang Moth in, have him aggro, and then I run in, turn in the quest and run away, but, uh, Yeah, we'll see. Okay. The we pull just... Nice. I'll take that. Much, much better. I was thinking we we're going to pull like all five of them or four of them. Uh, we only pulled two. Which is really good. Doesn't that make things so much easier when you have a good pull? I mean, it really makes a huge difference. Get some drain soul going. Ooh, wow. I just got a superior and greater healing potion from the same mob. You don't see that very often. Like, seriously. It's pretty rare to get two potions in the same mob. Uh, what is this? Skeletal flare? Let's... Oh, uh, there's three mobs in here. Wow, I don't know if I want to fight three mobs at once, but I guess it's too late now. I'm going to loot Janice's parcel uh, while we're hanging. And that way, complete quest. Is that really it? Uh huh. Like, I kind of thought there was something to collect from it or something, but maybe not? Yeah. Grab the next quest from it. There's, for some reason, there's two quests there, and it's really kind of weird. Um. So we pick a package ripping off. Uh, check with the Royal Orchestra's the Undercity to learn the whereabouts of a Jeremiah Fellstone. So Undercity is where we turn in this quest, apparently. Ah. Weird. I don't remember. I don't remember the quest that well, I guess. I knew there was another follow-up to it. I didn't realize it took us to Undercity of all places. And then turn it in in Undercity. Oh my. <laughs> More aggro, huh? More aggro. Why is it always gotta be aggro? 
Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna move out of this area now. Go turn in quest over here, and then we go to Undercity and turn in a quest. I think it's a good plan. Okay. Thanks for your help. Gonna go turn in some quests. Can I get through here without it? No. Oh my god. No. Uh, please aggro all of them, Tang Moth. Do it. Do it. My goodness. The, uh... Are we gonna fight these all or are we just running? I think we're just gonna run. <laughs> I'm just very amused that... I was like, I was like, okay, can I get through there without aggroing those three mobs? Maybe. Maybe I can do it. Not only could I not do it, I got dazed on the very first hit from those mobs. Oh, whoops, I don't want to summon a void walker. What am I doing? I want to mount up. It's about to summon a void walker there, and I really just wanted to mount and not aggro this bear in front of me either. Huh. Whew. Okay, well, Western Blakelands has been a thrill so far. I don't know what the viewers at home feel, but I'm uh, having a ton of fun out here. And I'm happy that I'm not getting ganked by level 60 rogue like we did at the beginning of last episode. That was kind of annoying. But otherwise, I feel I'm pretty good about this. Um, it, I, there's not that many quests to do out here, honestly. Like, I think we will have only so many more to do. Oh, let's turn in this one. Hi, Executor. Okay. Alright, it's a follow-up. Scourge Cauldron. Speak with Shadow Priestess Vandalist, the Bulwark. Yes. The cauldrons are like the- you saw the cauldron, actually one of them is four of them in Western Plaguelands. We will work on those at some point. Um, Scourge Cauldrons, complete quest. Go to the Felsen Field, yep, that's the one we were just at. That is... Uh, like... This one, right? Yes. And there's another one here, and here, and here. And we're gonna go and like basically open up each- all four of them. Uh, Unfortunately, I need to take a break right now, so I don't have time to finish this, but we'll come back. I'm not going to end the episode here, obviously, but I'm going to pause, and I'm going to come back, and I'll probably work on those quests, I think. We've got some things we can do. Uh, and I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll continue from there. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, so I ran to the Undercity real quick, and we've got our buddy over here, Royal Overseer Bauhaus. And... Uh, we are going to talk to him, uh, turn in the Better Late Than Never quest, which is the quest we got from that little barn at the beginning of the episode. Uh, Janice's parcel. I'm going to turn this in. Find Jeremiah Payson in the Undercity and see if he's in fact Jeremiah Felstone. If he is, then perhaps you'd like to package Janice Felstone. Maybe. Okay, we can find this guy. I don't think he's very far away. There he is. He's the cockroach vendor, of course. The famous cockroach, cockroach vendor. The Jeremiah Blues. Okay, and you? Uh, he hasn't used that name for years. Huh, complete quest. Return to Janice Felstone to Western Plaisance. Return her. Good luck, half charm. We can do that. While we're here, got anything on a vendor? Uh, da, 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 da. Nothing too much. I think we'll hold on to this. Now, uh, I do need to do one other thing. I need to find the mailbox. Right? Do I. I'm listening. Hold on a sec. I was kind of my bags a little bit. Where I always forget. We'll just run around in circles once. We'll find the mailbox pretty soon. Now, um, here is the interesting thing about this episode. Uh, I started filming this episode, the first s chunk of this episode. Actually, we have a quest here. What is this? Hold on a sec. I need to. I was playing around with some options. I want to turn triple buffering on. It seems to help stabilize things a bit. Okay. Better be good. Oh yeah, it's this thing Archie would ruin town. Okay, we're not worried about that. Here we go. Uh, oh, some auction of ours expired. Didn't sell. Thanks for your entertainment. Ya ya koshi. 14 days ago. Oh. Thank you for watching. Yeah yeah. And thanks for the gold. That's super. That's very nice of him. 69 gold. A funny, funny number. Quite amused with that. Did that send or not? Um, I don't know. 
Let's try one more time. Huh. Well, Yaya Koshi. Thank you anyway. Seems like the mail's kind of busted. And, uh, weird. Am I, like, disconnected? Let me, um... No, I'm still able to mount and dismount. Okay. Token of appreciation. Bellclaw hood. Nice. Very nice. So we're gonna... This is a great upgrade for us. Something I was planning on making anyway. It's a six... Basically six shadow damage upgrade. Hey, Zupa. Uh... A small token of appreciation for me. It's pretty damn good. Hands away. Okay, the double P. Double P is a friend of mine on... Mail is, like, super busted right now, I think. So there are, like, there's, like, one server that runs everything, but sometimes different parts of the server can go down, like, chat can go down. Um, or let's try and, like, walk away from the mailbox and come back. Sometimes that fixes it. No, mail just seems kind of busted. Uh, well... Unfortunately, I'll have to come back and get it. It's, it's six shadow damage. It's not like the end of the world if we don't have it right now, but sure would have been nice to get that. We'll come back. We'll get it. Um, anyway, so it's hard to explain it, but basically there's different parts to the server, like chat, looting, um, mail. I think combat in general is its own like segment within the server, and sometimes different parts of those. This is true for any vanilla server. It's not like related to this specific server. Um, which can sort of like lag and you can prioritize things differently depending on how the server is coded uh, and I do it. I've never really seen it that bad so that's kind of disappointing but eh, it's okay now it is uh, approximately 6 a.m. US Eastern time right now which is 3 a.m. US Western time so California time it's very very early ooh some bad stuttering there. I don't really know why. Um, let's go ahead and rebuff and get a few things together before we head out. Out into the wild, I guess. <laughs> okay. Feeling buffed and ready to go. Oh, and now I don't even have enough mana to mount. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant. Um, <laughs> no wonder. I'm trying to do a demon armor to mount. You might notice my FPS bar is up in the top left. Uh, I am doing that because I am on a new computer. Uh, this sounds strange, but that's what I was saying earlier. What happened? Oh, mail sent. Hey, mail went out. Good. Maybe now... Whatever I try to loot there will actually be looted soon. Um, so what's basically happened is the beginning of this episode, I, I filmed it actually like June 28th or something. And then today is July 10th. So it has been like two weeks since I started this episode, and what happened is, um, I basically got busy with things in real life, so it was a few days there, and then probably about like July 2nd or so, maybe the 3rd, I think it's the 3rd, I got most of my parts to build a new computer for myself. Uh, well, I'm on that computer now, and to be honest, it's been, let's see, I first built my old computer that I put all my other videos on in 2011. And that computer, and I, I already explained this in my other videos, um, in my Worgen Warlock leveling series, so I apologize if I'm repeating this all. I'm gonna try to make this quick. Basically, I um, built a computer in 2011, left all the parts in there. The only thing I ever changed was really my um, adding a new solid state drive at some point, although I'm burnt out in like 2013. And I, um, upgraded the graphic card. I originally had a 560 Ti 1 gig. I upgraded it to a 750 Ti 2 gig and then eventually upgraded that to a 960 4 gig. Um, so not exactly awful stuff, but um, and my processor was an i5 2500K overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz, um, 8 gigs of RAM. So I decided to upgrade and I got myself a Ryzen system, um, built myself the system. But it took me a lot longer than I remembered to overclock things, but, you know, like, tweak a little, monitor temperatures, monitor voltage, if it crashes when you're overclocking, and uh, you have to go back and, like, you know, adjust it. Um, lots of back and forth with that. It took me days. It took me, like, almost a full week, because I just didn't have a lot of time each day. And finally, yesterday, I was like, okay, I think things are good. Overclock is set, things are stable. 
it is time to record videos again. So I'm happy to be back. I've missed this character so much. You're playing. Ooh, Podge. Uh, hi. What you doing, Podge? What you doing? We need to get this Scourge Cauldron, by the way. So, man, I'm so out of practice this character. Um, okay, I think this is gonna work. <laughs> I am only on this one, unfortunately. Um, this guy apparently working on the same quest line as I am, but I am on the first quest only. And what you need is these cauldron lords, like his biomaw guy. Then if you get him, once you uh, kill that guy, then you can. Um, and I pulled aggro very nicely there. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of stuttering, it seems. Like, I don't know if you'll see that at the end of the, in the video itself, once it's rendered up. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, anyway, so, it just took me longer to get everything up and running, but I'm very happy to have it up, and I've missed this character so much. I really, really do enjoy this character a lot. Um, by the way, I always kind of monitor this for one reason or another, and I'm now, like, super confident that this server is dying. It's really sad. I really feel bad about it, but, like, there's less than a thousand people online now, and that's... Not, and that's fine, like honestly, like a thousand people is not an awful population, I'm perfectly happy with it, but it's not so much that the population itself is the problem, it's the direction in which- oh crap, uh, we got ourselves some scum alliance here. Of course, the scum alliance waits until I'm, um, freaking in combat to do anything. Maybe this guy helps? Um, should I pop up? Sure, let's do that. Oh, that guy was immune. Oh, that's not. Uh, uh. Huh. Nice, nice. Oh, that was good timing. Uh, thank you. Thanks, shaman. The shaman. That was awesome. Hmm. Feels good. Yeah, that freaking uh, those alliance set it to pop up. That's kind of mean. But they got their comeuppance. Um, so we need, where is the guy that we need? Oh, there he is. Okay, we did kill him. Good. I was like, I thought we tagged him, but, got my key. Uh, gotta use the key. The problem is, the Alliance will be back very, very soon, which is very, very annoying. Um... I'm gonna try to back this guy up a little bit, if possible. Um, I need a bandage as soon as this fight's done, because I'm gonna be a very low health in a moment here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, the server population is down to under a thousand, and it's just, it's just going down is the problem. It's not that it's... It, that's really the problem, it's just that it's going downwards, and that is an issue. Um, yeah, it's not good. So I'm, I'm a little uh, concerned, but kind of regardless of that, I'm still going to be playing this character to 60 because I really like this character a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. Okay, let's see if we can hit this cauldron without aggroing anything else over here. Jeez, you gotta be really close for this. Holy crap. Okay, Peng Moth is gonna aggro this thing while I turn it in. Continue, complete quest, accept, a new quest. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. We, we escaped. Done. I gotta return to the bulwark. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, before those alliance scum come back. Man, that's a lot of alliance we've messed with here for real. Like, ugh. Too many. Too many. There they are, actually, I think. Um, we should just kill them, but... Oh, uh, freaking bear aggroed on me. Uh oh, our rogue went the other direction. What's he doing? What's he thinking? Oh, uh, that's bad. Um, I'm not going back that way now. He's probably dead. Unfortunately, we shouldn't have split up. That was a mistake. I was... I guess kind of assuming he would follow me. Because I guess he, he knows. He said he's on the second part of the quest. We should know where he has to turn this quest in at. Um... Thankfully, it is a close. I didn't realize how close the graveyard is for us there. Like, I guess I kind of knew that. I mean, I just forgot. It's been, he said, two weeks since I played this character. 
Anyway, I'm very excited to have my computer up and running. Um, selling my old computer for scrap. Uh, on eBay. For parts. Um, okay. Not for parts. I mean, it's actually legit. It's like, everything works fine, so I'm hoping to sell for quite a bit. Uh, the little individual pieces. And I'm still running on a 960 4 gig graphics card, but... I have a 1080 Ti coming in the mail today. Which is the first time in my entire life I've not had like a like I usually get like mid to mid low tier cards like a seven like a six five sixty seven fifty or nine sixty is what I've had which are always like very good like for the money you're spending on it I did not mean to do that buff again I uh hold on a sec here I can't carry so I do have a health stone already okay got it um let's do this half twice and bandage so anyway I have the very good graphic cards, like a 750 Ti, 560 Ti, 960 are great graphics cards for the price, but they're never like bleeding edge, you know, cutting edge type of stuff. Um, so I've decided for once in my life, I'm going to go ahead, spend a little bit more, and I think I'll keep it, the 1080 Ti. I am going to um, kind of wait and see, uh, kind of wait and see with how it runs on my system, see if it's really worth it. But I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Um, oh, we're gonna do some PvP stuff, apparently. Alliance ahead, help us kill them. Jeez. I'm gonna chat this guy up. Rhymer 2. Oh, this guy's like a Rhymer 1 account. Okay. Ooh, that stutter is gross. I gotta figure out what's going on there. Um, okay, well that one's super dead. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice. Feels pretty good. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I was thinking my... Uh, why do I keep doing that? I keep pressing the, uh, equals key. Um. I'm pressing the equals key to mount, and I think it's what I have on my... Rogue, my one level one ten rogue on Legion. I think that's where my mount key is. I keep I'm, I've played that more than this guy recently, uh, so I keep accidentally trying to mount. I really am trying to just uh, I, I end up buffing myself. And the problem is this stupid demon armor buff is a ton of mana, like a ton. Like it's like a third of my mana. It's a huge amount. Whereas mounting is like uh, what would that be? 3% of my mana? Yeah. So, three, like, 2.7% of my mana, roughly, maybe? It's just a small fraction of the mana overall. Uh, I'm really, yeah, so I'm just, I'm very excited to be back to this character, and I, I feel, I'm very sorry to everyone that really likes this series. It's been so slow recently. I mean, I haven't put a video up in two weeks, I think, and obviously some of that time that I usually would use for this series has been eaten up by my Legion videos. Uh, so I'm very sorry about that, but I, I really do love his character, and I have all intents to get him to 60, and then hopefully do some, like, raiding or something with him at 60, at least some level 60 instances, but it's just a matter of um, finding the time to play him more, and uh, balance him out with my Legion stuff, because I, I do have a ton of fun over there, um, but I don't know if I have more fun than I do in Vanilla, but a lot of people, I have a lot of fun talking to people about those videos, so it's Kind of a trade-off for me. Okay, we're going up here. We're going to Dawson's Tier. This is the one I always think of. Ooh. Ooh. Can we get this guy? Can we tag him? Oh, no, we cannot. Because we are too slow. Fail. Fail, fail. Invite, please. Oh, too slow. Too slow. Damn. How's this guy not dead yet? <laughs> He's got like 7 health. There we go. Hmm. So, I guess I'll just kill some mobs in the meantime. Uh, or hang out. It's gonna take a while for that to respawn. At least we're getting, the, you know, rest of the people like good stuff, blah blah blah. Um, I got a lot of horde around here, which feels nice. Feels quite a bit. Tang moth afflicted by volatile infection. 
Inflicting 136 nature damage, never allies every 15 seconds. How do I get him with me? Oh god, oh god. Taking a while to stop it. Stop it. Uh, it's really funny. I'm very amused by that. I don't know how to resolve that. Here we go. I'll send him over by the rogue. Here, get, get him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Volatile infection is kind of gross. Um, oh god, he feared my... Voidwalker, oh, that's not good. Can I fear this thing? Probably not. No, of course not. Can't fear those things. What was I, what was I thinking? That reminds me, every time I say the phrase, what was I thinking, it reminds me of that Dirk Bentley song, the what was I thinking song. What was I thinking, D? I don't know. I, I'm not a big country fan, but I do like that song a lot. I, It's like the one country song that I actually really like. Um, I'm like really low on health, aren't I? Um, what Was I Thinking by Dirk Bentley is my favorite country song. It's probably the only country song I would say is my favorite country song. Holy crap, how do I get Tangmoth to hold? Um, stay. Stay there. His infection is gross. <laughs> uh, scum. Scum Voidwalker with his scum diseases. Yeah, so I need the freaking key, unfortunately, and this guy's still hanging out here. Still need key. Oops. His key. Are these guys... Oh, I see. AoE leveling. Got it. Got it. Tangmoth is never going to stop being volatilely infected, is he? Huh. Well, send him over to the rogue. <laughs> Am I a bad person for sending my infected Voidwalker to the road? I guess, yeah, I'm a pretty bad person. That's really funny. I guess I could like to dot these things up a little bit better, but I'm kind of just being lazy here. Um, man, that, that fear on Tangmoth goes so far. He, he, he like feared all the way across the uh, room, or not room, but field, it felt like. Where's he going? Oh. So he goes back to the hold position unless I tell him otherwise. Neat. Oh, uh, so let's see. What's going on new with me these days? I, um, I'm working a lot in my research right now in lab. I've uh, been very busy. Uh, let's fear this one off of us. If I can get the fear to cast. Yeah. I've um, been very busy in my research recently, I'm doing lots of uh, infection studies, lots of these things they call cytotoxicity assays, um, where we, Tangmoth is no longer volatilely infected, so I think we can let him run free now, uh, where I'm basically taking like human cell lines like macrophages, which are kind of like you could think of as white blood cells, um, and I infect them with bacteria and see if different bacteria are more toxic or less toxic to them. And this is all to study, um, we're studying like pneumonia basically is what I would say. And bacteria that cause pneumonia with the idea that we're trying to see if we can find a specific gene or genes that maybe, so let me back up a bit. Um, we basically have a collection of strains that were isolated from uh, ill patients in the hospital. And these patients had um, pneumonia or bloodstream infections of bacteria and we take these bacteria and then we study them and try and find like unique segments of their genes of their genome that um, are in like strains that are very very deadly as opposed to ones that are less deadly and we find these unique regions of DNA we delete them we remove the DNA and then we see whether um, the new strain without the that chunk of DNA is as virulent or as deadly as the um, the the, the non-deleted strains. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the game. There's so many people running around. Um, how dare me get distracted by a video game while I'm playing a video game? And then we so we make these strains that have pieces of DNA missing. Uh, we don't know what these DNA chunks do. We don't know if they make certain genes or what. Um, but we delete that little chunk, test the strain out. In this case, I'm testing with uh, by infecting cells like uh, macrophages, like I said, is the main thing I'm using right now. We also have like lung cells and other things. 
and try and see if they are less deadly when we remove that gene. And then if they are, we'll study that gene further and try to decide what that gene is actually doing that causes them to be more or less deadly. Um, from the boss. Right. Named mob over here. Needs to respawn. This guy doesn't really know exactly how this quest works. I don't know how I get the other key then. Spawns right where I'm standing. So we need to tag him ASAP. Um, yeah, I don't really want to go anywhere else. I kind of just want to like hang near. Uh, that I aggro both these things. Get him, Chain Moth. Get both of them. <laughs> I wonder if King Moth can ever... There we go. I wonder if he can ever, like, get aggro ever again. Like, I just feel like I have a lot... Like, we're well beyond the point where he can ever hold aggro for us. Um... That's some stupid rat. Rotting worm, I guess what it is. Um... Yeah, we're well beyond the point where King Moth is, like, effective at tanking. Like, he, he can take damage, but he doesn't hold aggro at all. I've said this, like, a million times now, but... Such is life, I guess. Let's, uh, have him on a stay. Ooh, formula enchant bracers. I guess agreed that. Okay. Uh, oh, is that all some rotting worms? I keep thinking these rats, but I guess they're really just like rotting worms. Huh. So, and my research is going well. Now we're starting another project where I'm making um, like baby bacteria is what I call them. Where I I'm I just am starting this where I will take some bacteria, and where you can delete a certain gene in them that when these bacteria split, and splitting is how they divide and multiply. Um, what, what is this guy giving me? Here. You can have some of these. And take it, there it goes, good. Um, yeah, I'm being really lazy with my dots right now, but it's, yeah, it's fine. I think these guys are pretty easy to kill. Shouldn't be too hard for us. We got them. Um, so I'm, I'm making these bacteria, which when they divide, instead of going like usually when cells divide, they split fairly evenly. Um, in this case, they'll split like like lopsided, so that you get one that is like 75% size, and the other one's like 25% size. Um, the idea being that we want to take those little ones, and we need them to be a bit smaller to put them under um, an electron microscope and get like a really nice detailed close-up view of some of their anatomy I, I guess I call it anatomy, but some of their um, some of the organelles, some of the things in the cell that allow them to do the things they do in the bacteria such as a needle they have which they use as a needle to infect host cells so these bacteria have, there's lots of different systems for infections that, that allow cells to, inf or that allow bacteria to infect human cells um, and this system is one that hasn't been well studied in these specific type of bacteria. So we want to get a really nice, like hopefully very beautiful imagery of a close-up look at the needle. And the best way to do that is actually to get a little bit smaller of a cell. Uh, I'm infected with volatile infection. Wow. That thing's awful. Huh. Anyway, so I'm doing a lot of these different projects, and I've got like three projects running simultaneously. One I just started, and one I've been working on for about six months, one I'm working on for about three months. And it keeps me busy, but I really enjoy it. I, um, I would never... Someone once asked me if I was ever like a popular streamer, making lots of money, would I... Hey, found the guy. Would I give up my career as a scientist? And the answer is definitely no. Um, besides the fact that I have reservations about the stability of streaming as a career. Um, even if I had like a lifetime supply of money and didn't need to work, still don't think I'd give up my career as a scientist. I really like it. I'd actually probably do more as a scientist if I had a boatload of money like that. Uh, like if I was a billionaire, I would have so many fun things I'd like to do as a scientist. Um, okay, we got our key because the Lord, what was his name? Cauldron Lord Malvinius up here. We're gonna turn in our quest and bring Phil to Austin Tears Vile. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Away we go. Back to 
Okay, my, oh, I'm in combat. Why am I not able to mount I'm in combat? Of course, of course. Okay, back to Bulwark. The Bulwark. Tangmoth, why are you infected again? Why is he always infected? <laughs> Scumbag Tangmoth. Uh, okay, let's delete that and mount up. And away we go. Now, is Tangmoth gonna damage me and I'm gonna damage Tangmoth this entire time? So it's gonna be annoying. Or can we damage these people if I just like run around them? Hmm, I'm not sure. We do have a quest to turn in here, that good luck charm that we just were doing 10 minutes ago. But I, I I'm kind of, ooh. This infection is bad. Like, ugh. Uh, at least I'm not infected anymore, but Tang Moth still is infected for a little bit. Um, you know, I could go turn in that quest, but I can do that solo pretty easily, I think. So, I think I'm... Oh, crap. Um, let me do something here. Let's do... Uh, let's heal up. We should just kill this guy, because screw him. Huh. The problem is I'm getting, like... Hit by, uh, this thing. Hey, get out of here, scumbags. All of you. <laughs> I, the, the problem is I'm getting hit by that stupid mage, and that mage is really annoying. Um, uh, irritating. Anyway, I probably could have killed those people, and I would almost feel bad about killing that AFK warrior, but I'm pretty sure those are the same alliance that started this crap with us in the first place, so screw them, right? I mean, like, they came and ganked us when we were fighting mobs, and I was, like, half dead. I'm not going to feel too guilty about killing them. So, they can, they can shove it. Uh, what was I saying? So, oh, I need to try and find minerals. I forgot that's been off. Shadow, Priestess, Vandis, here we come. Um, I'm losing track of my train of thought. Anyway, I, yeah, if I had, if I was a billionaire, I would have a ton of very cool things I'd like to do in research, but I don't have the money for that. <laughs> nowhere, nowhere close, not even a fraction of a percentage of that. Complete quest, go to the Rhythm Haunt in Western Playlands. So we got another one. Another one. I feel like I'm um, DJ Khaled. And at least we're moving on up on the um, the experience bar. But you know, by the way, I I think it is time to leave Western Plaguelands. This is not. We've been here for like three episodes, and I don't think we've leveled up at all. It's just been really slow, and I'm not regretting it, but kind of regretting it. Like I, eh, eh, I kind of. Where is the Rhythm Haunt? There it is, okay. I, I just sort of feel like it is not the place for me. It's just not working well. There's a lot of mobs that are undead, which means we're immune to fear. Um, so much Alliance trash out here. <laughs> I, by the way, I'm joking. I don't I don't think people that play Alliance are bad people or anything, but it is fun to call them Alliance scum. It's, it's very fun to do that. Uh, I, I've always enjoyed the kind of, the, the, like, ribbing each other. Um, Oh, by the way, our guild, AR Pro, we're the only one online. This is the sign of a guild's health. The best way to look at the guild's health is to check on the officers. So, um, I want to go straight here. I want to stay on the road. I don't know where that guy's going. So, here's the ranks. Oh, gosh, these guys again. Uh, no, not those guys. Different different pack of people here. I'm going to get my soul stone up. I think it's not quite time. Okay. So, look at the guild chat or guild tab over here on the left the um guild master hasn't been on in a month there's one two three four five officers they haven't been on in a month how much do you want to bet that means a guild is dead i mean once you have no one that can recruit people online in a month it's pretty safe to say that the guild has been abandoned by the officers um, which means you can't grow like if we have no one online for over a month they can invite you one which means there's no one to remove people that aren't around or recruit new people. So it's a pretty dead thing. Someone, many times now someone's invited me to their guild on the server and um, I don't know, I, I, it doesn't seem to matter much to me if I'm in, oh, what is this guy doing over here? Uh, like the guild I'm in, honestly, as you notice, I don't really participate that much uh, with guilds. So it, it's not a big deal to me. I do kind of like having like chat with people, but um, I don't know, it's not a big deal. What is this? 
destroy uh, as a quest here to kill some things. Um, okay. So Dawson's Tears, let's get this off our screen. Ew, I did not mean that. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, this guy's just like stupid AoE stun. It's really nasty. Uh, I remember this guy. He just did a lot of my stuff there. AoE stun for three seconds. That is a skill I would like to have. Look at this thing. It's insane. It's so good. Okay. Well, we're gonna work on this next Dawson's Tears quest, um, which means we're gonna have to just like clobber through these guys, which is gonna be a little annoying, although our rogue doesn't seem to agree. Um, where is our named mob? Uh, oh, the rogue's just moving ahead, that's fine. Yeah, so we got some killing to do today. Oh, when did we get a powered fort buff? How did I not notice that close, though? It was like three minutes ago, but I don't even know where he saw a priest at. Like, I really am not sure. Okay, um... This guy... There's our coffin lord. Oh, crap. I was gonna say, this guy's kind of a higher level than me. Contagion of Wrath. Casting speed reduced by 100%. 33% increased attack speed. Oh my god. This is gonna be nasty. This guy, it's gonna spread to that rogue and we're gonna spread it back and forth permanently. We're gonna reduce the attack and spell casting speed for like... Forever? <laughs> Forever. Time for me to heal up a little bit. Okay. That's a pretty good ring. I mean, not for me, but pretty good ring overall. Alright, good. We couldn't. I was like, can we pull this guy from over there? We can. Nice. Okay. I wasn't sure if we would. I, I thought there might be a line of sight problem going up the side of that thing there, but it seemed fine. Also, this guy's really squishy. Like, he has less health than most of these mobs we fought. Which is interesting. Um, now we're gonna definitely aggro. Oh crap! Um, get him, take him off. Nice. I love having a pet for this. It makes it so much easier. These quests are honestly kind of pains in the asses. I'm gonna say, in a lot of cases, because of the um, aggro, just to get and turn in the stupid thing. So it's kind of really nice when you have a pet that can like just body block for you. Ooh. Uh, I got resisted again. It makes it so much easier. Also, it's nice we're getting experience every time we do these quests. Like, we're, like on this end, we got 8,000 experience, and when we go turn in later, we're gonna get a bunch of experience. Okay, back to, uh... Back to the Bulwark. Return to the Bulwark is the quest. Nice. Yeah, so the guild is dead, the server is lower population. To be fair, um, 1180 people right now. It's also, like I said, I'm playing it, to me, way off hours for America at least. It's like seven, not even seven in the morning yet in the Eastern time. Um, so the US is pretty much asleep. Canada, Mexico, US are pretty much all asleep. So what does that, oh, hold on a sec. So what does that leave? It leaves Europe. But honestly, even people in Europe, they're only five hours ahead of us. It's kind of, they're at work right now. I mean, if it's like seven or so here, um, it's like middle of the work day on a Monday for them. So to me, I assume that most Europeans wouldn't be playing until a little bit later in the day, a few more hours at least, like maybe, maybe two to five more hours. So we don't have much of Europe on, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe kids that are out for the summer for school. Um, but anyone over the age of 18, I assume, is hopefully working or doing something productive. Um, so America's down, Europe's down, so that really it just leaves like Russia and China as the only people on probably right now, um, for the most part, is my guess. Uh, and <laughs> right on time, we get a uh, gold spam. That's, just, that's always funny. Always a good time. Uh, Man, I, so I think next episode we will hit 55. How, what is our slash plate on this character? It's been a while, five days, three hours. Honestly, our slash plate is good. I'm happy with five days to get to 54, which is pretty much what it took, is pretty good. I'm like happy with that. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna be quite a few more, probably a couple more days play to hit 60, honestly. It's, it does take a while. I appreciate that we have this double rest, uh, rested XP for double XP gain from killing mobs, it helps a ton. Um, even out here, like, what did we get from killing these guys? We're getting 300 instead of 160 experience, or 320 instead of 160. So that's, that's really good. <laughs> I 
Obviously. Okay, return to the bulwark. Complete quest. One more. Garen's withering. 4100 experience. Okay. How's our bag space? Looking good. Could use more soul shards. Garen's withering. I think it's even farther out there now, right? Yep. Okay, this should be the... Be... Be... Bet... Be the last one. I want to wrap this up, and then I think I might call it for today. That might be the end of the episode. Oh, man. I meant to set my hearth to Undercity. I forgot to do that. Um, I want to go back and get that hat. The hood. But, yeah. Anyway, I... We're almost... Honestly, we're almost the right level... To go to, like... Winter Spring? It's a little bit... We're a little low for Winter Spring. We could almost go to Winter Spring, or more likely what I want to do is go to Ungoro, which is going to be pretty easy for us for the most part, but we should be able to, like, knock out some quests there, uh, which is going to feel good compared to, like, what we're kind of struggling here in Western Plaguelands, right? Like, we really are... I don't know if struggling is the right word, but it, it is quite an effort to get through things here. Um, the beginning of this series, I think... Not series, the beginning of this time in Western Plaguelands was a struggle. Now we're doing a little bit better, but, yeah, it's still tough. Um, the good news is we can, you know, wrap up, like, this quest here. Uh, I don't really care about those parasites. I, that, those guys are so tough. <laughs> they were, like, wrecking me. You might remember that. Um, I could then go turn on the good luck charm to Jaina. Janus? 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 Janus. Yeah, I could go to Janus, turn in that, and then Hearth to Orgrimmar, and then fly to Un'Goro. Because I think I did get the flight path to Un'Goro, but if not, at the very least, we should have the, um flight path to Tenerius and we can run over. It's not that far. Actually, I'm really, now that I think about it, I'm really glad I didn't set my hearth to Undercity because this saves us the Zeppelin trip from Undercity to Orgrimmar because we can just hearth to Orgrimmar. So, yeah, I'm, I'm basically saying I'm considering moving to Ungoro soon because it's actually a little low for us now, but it should make it for some nice, smooth, easy questing. And I could use, I could use some easy questing in my life. I feel like Western Plaguelands, if I could go back in time, I would not come to Western Plaguelands. It's just... A lot of running and a lot of pain. <laughs> I don't know. Something about it. It's very stressful. Okay, we need to get around to like this. I see the guy we need. He's right there. So what's the easiest way to get to him? Probably through here. Dehabilitating touch. What is that? Uh, strength reduced by 20. Gotta clear to the boss. I call him a boss, but he's not really a boss. Um, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the big guy over here. Uh, just come to me and we'll clear to get there. This rogue keeps doing that thing where he like runs off. Whoa, holy crap, this guy hits hard. This rogue keeps doing this thing where he like goes and, um, so it like kills a random mob next to me instead of the mob that I'm on, which I don't really know why he keeps doing that. Uh, which is, it's fine, just a little bit weird. Like, and I get he, he kind of forgets, I think, that he can stealth and I can't also. I'm <laughs> just... Um... Okay. Well, Tang Moth... Is, uh, this guy's got Blade Flare up, it looks like, because he's taking down both mobs at the same time, which is nice. I'm happy with that. Oops, I did not mean a Hell of Terror. Probably shouldn't have even wasted that. What am I doing? I'm just like, I'm just, I, honestly, I'm out of practice with my Warlock. I just find myself not always pressing the optimized keys. I'm going to tap twice and then bandage. Because I think we're going to pull both these mobs when we pull here. Um, we'll see how that works. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, not too bad. Good, good. Okay, that worked out pretty well. We will we will pull two mobs on the next pull, I think, though. But if we're lucky, it won't be too bad. <laughs> like it won't won't totally wreck us. Okay, ready? Oh, I guess he's ready. Um, huh. has guy fear? I think he has a fear. Resist, resist, resist. Gross. Well, I'm gonna finish him off. Actually, he died pretty easily. Not not bad at all. Drain Soul, I found out, and Legion is a completely different skill now. Not completely, but a vastly different skill. Um, can I... This guy's gonna aggro for sure. 
Um, oh, pie. Yeah, he aggroed him from there. That's really funny. Um, he, like, was sitting and eating, got aggroed on him. Ooh, I don't want to... I'm really worried that Tangle is going to... Ooh, that's not good. Um, okay, I'm going to bandage. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going to health, health stone. Uh, Jesus. Um, Mr. Moth is going to have to take the brunt of this fight. <laughs> I think he can do it. Okay. Now yeah, we're good. Those rates, when they go into Frenzy, they hit hard. I mean, you can see the Rogue's health dropping a little bit. They're not like... He got like smoke, but it definitely... That wasn't an easy thing for him. Uh, Tangmoth has a lot of mana. I should really be like dark packing that. I forgot to be like dark packing. Give me all that mana, Tangmoth. Thank you, sir. All gone now. It's all mine. I'm a big bully just eating all of his mana. Uh, I guess I should have Shadow Bolted there, but not really necessary because... Huh. Okay, now let's try to get up here. Please tell me I don't aggro that thing. I just want to get this quest done and get out of here before it gets any worse. Continue to complete quest. Yes, accept. Run, run, get out of here. We're, we're gone, we're good. Phew. Phew. Wait, 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 hold on. Phew. Nice, I could not say phew. P-H-E-W, I was botching it every time I tried. Uh, oh, that feels good to get out of there. Uh, as a side note, um, if I decide to keep the 1080 Ti, which I'm leaning towards, uh, which I don't have in yet, but I should get it today and I'm hoping to take it and install it tonight. If I get that, and I can figure out how to do it, I think there's a way to do it, I might be able to force at least 1440p, maybe 4k resolution on Vanilla WoW, and get some really high quality 60fps stuff on here for people. Um, I don't know if it's possible in Vanilla WoW, honestly. Um, I'm really not sure how that works with Vanilla Well, but I think there's a patch someone made that allows that to work. We're gonna see what we can do. Um, and definitely 1080 Ti should be able to run that on Well pretty easily, on Vanilla Well. I think it should be pretty easy. We'll see. Uh, that's, that's like the dream. So, actually the reason why I upgraded wasn't so much for any gameplay related things, but to improve my rendering process, because rendering took me for an hour long video at the um, bit rate that I encode at, uh, at 1080p 60fps, it took about four hours to render. So every episode I made took at least five and a half hours to make, because it would take one hour to record. I usually do about an hour long gameplay, maybe five to 20 minutes of editing. Usually it's like 10 to 15 minutes of editing, but a little bit to just like crop in any music I need, cut out anything, make sure audio and video is aligned, um, get the end credits up, all that stuff. You know, it takes a little bit of time, like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so there's an hour and 15, let's say, just for the getting the video edited in together. And then about three and a half to four hours to render. So we're looking at like five plus hours per... Ep ooh, ooh, there's another one of mine over here. I'm going to get this. Um, so it took like five plus hours per episode. It doesn't sound like a lot, but from like... If I want to put out five episodes in a week, that means every day I'm spending five hours of time. Not that I'm actively spending the time for the rendering, but I still have to wait. So it made it kind of a pain to just um, get everything up, you know? Like, it was just always a struggle. My new system right now, even without the 1080 Ti, I'm able to render in about two hours, so cut it in half, which is huge for me. The other thing is, my old system would literally run at 100% CPU usage. To when it would render like it would honestly be at 100% usage I could do almost nothing else on my computer I wouldn't even I would just set it to render overnight because if I try to do anything else on my computer it would just slow down the rendering glitch out the rendering cause it to crash or anything else I was trying to do, even like web browsing would run so slow I couldn't do it so um, now it runs at 80% capacity so it's not even using my full CPU which I actually prefer because it gives me a chance to use my computer while it's rendering. Not that I want to do, I'm not going to game on it, but I could at least do some minor like web browsing or something if I wanted to. Which is nice. Ah, oh, she's the one casting Power of Fort. Got it. I was like, where's Power of Fort coming from? Um, what is this quest to turn over here? There's a rainstorm going outside in real life, not just in WoW, and it's like thundering, so I'm really hoping lightning, so I'm really hoping I don't like, lose power. Mission accomplished. Nice. Uh, what do we want? I guess we'll take the Intellect Sword. Nice. Mission accomplished. We are now friendly with Argentine. Very nice. 
cool. Thanks for your help. That was really awesome. I had a lot of fun doing all that. Um, now there is a quartermaster here, which at friendly you can buy stuff. You too. I'll to repair. Let's vendor off this ring, which we don't want, right? Vendor off this sword, which we don't want, right? Yeah, definitely not. The, the necklace, though. Seven intellect, seven spirit. So we lose seven intellect, gain twelve stamina, and lose two spirit. I don't know if twelve stamina is better than seven intellect and two spirit. I don't think it is. It's a good necklace, but I don't think that's better than what we have. So I'm going to ditch it. Ditch it. Okay, it's gone. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I think it makes sense. And then I want to see what she sells at Friendly, which I don't think is very much, but it might be something. Nope, we need Honored. Okay. Well, that's going to be all for today. Next time when we come back, we're going to go over here. We're going to go to Janus. We're going to turn this one quest, and then we're going to Hearth. We're literally just bailing on Western Plaguelands. I'm excited to be bailing on it, because it's just time to go. And we're going to go to Ungoro, I think, and quest down there, so... That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm super happy to be back. Things are going to be a little more consistent now I expect. Oh my god, there's a bear. <laughs> uh, that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.